Welcome back to Fragrance Finder. I'm your host, Frost Tanner. Today, we're going to be going over Spice Bomb Extreme by Victor and Rolf. This Eau de Parfum was released in 2015, three years after the Eau de Toilette. This bottle here is the 90ml. This is it right next to the 50ml, so you can get a side-by-side -side comparison of both sizes. And both fragrances are available in the 50 and the 90ml. Spice Bomb Extreme keeps the grenade design, but you get a jet black bottle, so it's a little bit harder to see the liquid inside, and you get the orange band across the bottle. The design rings very true to the scent of the fragrance, so let's pull the pin and give it a spray. You can pause the video here for a full note breakdown. On the opening, it kind of blasts you with that pepper and that caraway. And on the dry down is where you really get that tobacco and that vanilla to balance out the spice. Spice Bomb Extreme is very cozy, very warm. I would describe it as if you're sitting by a fireplace and you're drinking a nice vanilla cinnamon latte and in front of you there's a box full of cigars and maybe in the distance there's a side table uh, with a vase of lavender. As for the time and occasion, something spicy oriental isn't going to be as mass appealing and versatile as something fresh would be, but you know, dare to be bold, be unique. A lot of people say this is the king of fall and winter and I completely agree. I would definitely say it's a cool weather fragrance and it could be a bit too much for the summertime. Now I'm going to rate this fragrance in five categories and this is going to be how this particular bottle works on my skin so the experience may be different for you. As for longevity, I give this an 8.5 out of 10. I probably get a good 8 hours out of one spray and even after that it's still a good skin scent. For projection, I give this an 8 out of 10. It probably extends a meter or two beyond arm's reach and within the first hour or so for some people it can even be a bit sharp on the nose. Get a whiff. Wow, wow. <laughs> As for my rating, I give this a 9.3 out of 10. When you first spray it on, it's really nice, but the dry down after a few hours is just phenomenal. For uniqueness, I'm gonna keep it at a nine out of 10, just like the original. When you smell it, you know right away, this is Spice Bomb Extreme. For value, I give this a 7 out of 10. You can find it for about 120 Canadian dollars at discounters. And I would say it's a tiny bit more expensive than the original, but it does last a lot longer. Now when we add everything up and average it out, Spice Bomb Extreme gets an 8.4 out of 10. If you're debating between Spice Bomb Extreme and the original Spice Bomb, we've done a comparison video as well as an individual review of the EDT. So check out the links in the description down below.